In this video, we'll review the new PS4 Remote Play app for iOS that lets you play and mirror your PS4 Pro on your iPhone or iPad devices. So what's up guys, Fabria and welcome to Shades of Tech. Sony just released a few days ago the app Remote Play for iOS, so let's see how it is. But spoiler alert, there is still a lot of work to do. So you can simply download the app from iOS App Store or just click in the link in the description on your iOS enabled device. The pairing process with your PS4 or PS4 Pro is pretty straightforward, but you have to update your PS4 to the latest firmware. Let's talk about the good. This app lets you play to your favorite PS4 Pro games on the way on your phone or tablet and potentially anywhere. Potentially. The image is very good, in my opinion a little oversaturated on the highlights, but my iPhone screen is not HDR nor OLED. The game is fluid and I was really happy with the overall image experience. I tested in my home and the latency was practically invisible, so potentially you could use it in place of the joystick or if your brother is using the TV. And likely that's all the good. All the rest is bad. It's bad because you need a Wi-Fi connection, so potentially you can play anywhere. You can find a Wi-Fi connection, since you can't use your 4G LTE connection. When I tried it, it just disconnected. Another bad thing is the gaming experience. PS4 games are more complex than smartphone games and aren't optimized to be played on a touch screen, so all the keys will always stay translucent on the screen and to be honest is quite weird and difficult to play, especially with L1 R1 keys which are usually triggered by other fingers than triangle, square and circle and X. So not a satisfying gaming experience at all. Everything could be forgotten if you could connect your PS4 pad on the iPhone with Bluetooth. That would be legendary. Well, you can't. At least on iPhone probably due to an Apple restriction. So in conclusion, it's a wonderful idea, but really badly released. With some work and a use of 4G LTE or tethering and the possibility to connect the iPhone directly to the PS4 pad, it will be totally worth and legit. So I think this wraps up for today. If you tried this app, let me know your first impression in the comment and be sure to subscribe for more on Shades of Tech. Ciao!